Welcome to the Silver Agent Demo. Silver Rails Rail Booking Tool for Travel Professionals, which also shows the Silver Core API in action. Silver Agent enables users to access rail content across eight countries and enables them to book it from anywhere in the world whilst accessing local fares. The aim of this demo is to walk you through a number of different booking scenarios to highlight some of the many features and benefits of the tool. Scenario 1. Once you have logged into Silver Agent, the first thing to do is to select the account for which you are booking. In this scenario, we will select France. You can search for both single or return journeys. To find your desired station, simply type in the name or code of the station. In this scenario, we are searching for available trains and fares from London St Pancras to Manchester. To change the departure date, click the desired date on the calendar. You can then change the time, selecting whether you want to depart or arrive by that time. Next, repeat the processes for the return date and time. If your company's configuration allows, you will be able to add multiple passengers to a booking. In this scenario, I am going to select one passenger, age 25. One or more discount cards can also be applied to the search. In this scenario, our traveller carries a young person's rail card, and so I am going to select the 16 to 25 young person's rail card discount card. When all the search parameters are set to your liking, click Search for Fares. We are now on the search results page. Above the search results is a summary of your requested journey. Trains are presented in numbered rows with the itinerary summary displayed by default. To view the full details of the itinerary, click View Details. Fares are all in euros as this is the local currency for France and they are sorted by price from left to right. Each fare card displays the five attributes of a fare starting with price and continuing with journey type, cabin class, fare type and schedule flexibility. Clicking on the info button will reveal further details about the fare, including available amenities and fare rules. Clicking on the view fare rule details will open the fare rules matrix. Fare filters are available to enable you to quickly find your desired fare. Click on the Toggle Filters button and select the desired fare characteristics to limit the results for easier fare selection. Once you select a fare, the non-selected fares will be hidden, bringing the return fares into view. Should you want to change your selected fare, click Change Selection. If you are happy with your selection, click Continue to check out. Now that all of the fares for your journey have been selected, you are taken to the Create Booking page. On the Create Bookings page, you will find additional links to fare rules and a summary view of the selected fares within the Order Summary section. This page is also where the passenger information is entered. Required fields are dictated by the operating carrier. Optional services and amenities can also be added to the booking when and where available. In this example, we have the ability to reserve a seat. Custom fields can be used for reporting purposes to track desired information. We offer three default fields and the ability to add any type and value pair sets of custom information. Finally, there is a financial summary at the bottom of the order summary section. To create the booking, click Create Booking. You are then directed to a summary of your booking. At this point, I'm going to make a note of the unique booking reference so that I can find and edit this booking later on in the demo. We employ a tabbed interface to allow multiple bookings to be open at one time. When viewing a booking, you will be presented with the booking summary, billing summary, order summaries, passenger summaries, notes, and custom information. Before the booking can be completed and paid for, a ticket delivery option must be selected. In the ticket delivery window, warnings will be displayed to communicate, for example, when a ticket vending machine is not available at the departure date, time and station. Now that the ticket delivery option has been selected, the Make Payment button is enabled. The Make Payment window contains the fields necessary to both pay for and confirm the booking. 
as well as agree to the silver agent and carrier terms of service. Scenario 2 Located in the US, searching for available train tickets in Canada between Montreal and Ottawa. This time I am booking for a traveller aged between 26 and 54 who has a VIA Rail corporate card. Once selected, I am asked to enter the corporate ID. Then when complete, click Search for Fares. This time, all fares are displayed in dollars. Scenario 3 In this scenario, I am going to select the UK as the point of sale searching for routes in Germany between Frankfurt and Berlin. Again, the traveller I am booking for is aged between 26 and 54, but this time has a business bond card, first class discount card. This time, all fares are displayed in Great British Pounds. I can choose to filter the results by selecting the Toggle Filter button, showing all flexible routes in case I don't know what time I will be returning. In this final scenario, I am going to show you how to retrieve and cancel an existing booking. Once logged into Silver Agent, you need to go to the Manage tab, which will take you to the Manage Booking page. Here, you are presented with many different ways of specifying your search parameters. To retrieve a booking, you can search on any of the following information. In this example, I am going to use the booking reference number that I was given at the end of the first demo scenario. Once the fields are filled out to your liking, click the Retrieve Bookings button. In the results, you will see your bookings with their details, including the order status. An order can have many status. In this example, our booking status is confirmed. Before I go ahead and cancel this order, I would like to point out the ability to resend the ticket and the ability to email the booking confirmation if required. Now on to cancelling the order, where you can see whether or not there will be a penalty and how much it will be. Clicking on the cancel order button brings you to the cancel order screen. Where supported, Ticketable fares are shown as individually cancelable items should you only want to cancel part of the order. I am going to add an agency service fee for cancelling the order. In the billing summary, you can see the agency fee has been applied, as well as the product refunds. Issuing the refund has changed the order status to cancelled. And that's the end of the demo. Thank you for watching this Silver Agent demo video. If you have any feedback or questions, please visit our website or contact us at info at silverrailtech.com.